This is Julian and I'm here in Charlotte in North Carolina. And what I want to talk about today is falling into the trap of thinking that you've made it. You know, it's like you set out to achieve a certain goal. You know, it's like this is the finish line. This is, you know, once I really achieve this, I will feel complete. I will have made it. I will be the shit. And uh, that there is one of the most dangerous traps of falling into on your road to success and uh, ultimately will majorly fuck you up. So the first mistake here is aiming to make it. You know, if that's your goal, like you see a finish line, you're already shooting yourself in the fucking foot, okay? Because what is it really, you know, that aim to reach a certain point? It's basically a cry to go back to comfort. You know, you're in your comfort zone, you want to expand, you want to succeed, you want to accomplish something. To do that, you're gonna have to go outside of your comfort zone, okay? It's not gonna be pleasant, you're gonna have to hustle, you're gonna have to put in a lot of work, and the finish line, or what you think is the finish line, you know, once I uh, you know, finish this project, once I build my brand, once I reach this point in my development as a human being, then I can go back to relaxing, being in my comfort zone, and uh, slacking off, if you will. You know, I was uh, giving a seminar here last night on uh, dating, and a guy's like, you know, uh, how do you know, you know, once you've made it? You know, how do you know if you're like successful, you know, as a guy, like successful with women? You know, how do I know? And uh, I asked him, I'm like, well, first of all, why? Why do you want to know? Okay, a lot of this is introspection. It's following the trail of whys, and he couldn't answer. He's like, well. Just, just because, I, I need to know where I stand. Like, do I, do I know if I'm good enough? Am I, am I good enough? And what is he trying to do? He's trying to reach that point where he's made it, that point where he's good enough. So guess what? So he can stop hustling. So he can stop improving and uh, go back to his comfort zone. Okay, and uh, this is something you really want to stay away from. Okay, there's this saying, life is a journey, not a destination. And the joy really is in the journey. Okay, there's two things that make you happy. Okay, one is internal fulfillment, the other is external stimulus. And uh, true joy, okay, true happiness comes from internal fulfillment. Okay, it's the you that's progressing. It's like you're taking right action, you're expanding who you are, you know, you're going outside of your comfort zone, and that internal pride, that fulfillment of you knowing you're doing it right, that's what makes you happy. Okay, it's not once you've made it or once you've reached a point where you think you've made it, because uh, then guess what? You're just remaining the same and you're gonna switch back to external stimulus. You're gonna try to numb yourself that way because that's the only way you can actually feel something, okay? Uh, and you're never happy once you're there, okay? This is pretty key too. You know, you're trying to reach, like if I only accomplish this product, this project here, I'll be happy. And uh, this will always happen. There's always gonna be a next thing you're, you're grasping for if you think that way. You know, if you look back at your life now, there's probably something in the past, you're like, you know, if I only made it to that point, I'll be happy. And you made it there, and there's another point, and another point, and another point. And uh, this is how fucked it is. It's like, you're always gonna be reaching something else, or even worse, you'll, you'll, you'll reach a point, and then you'll just kinda like slack off. So there's a few examples uh, that come to mind, okay, and I've uh, written them down here. And uh, these are people that I know, and uh, the first one, okay, to really illustrate this, is an old friend of mine named Seth, okay, and this is a guy I uh, kind of helped out back in the day, you know, just assisting him, trying to figure out the ins and outs of internet marketing, okay? And that's what, you know, he does. So this is a few years back, and um, we were really hustling like crazy, okay? It was like still, you know, kind of new at this. We were just kind of fucking around, just seeing if we could, you know, make it. And uh, really hustling, coming from this place of internal fulfillment, just pushing the envelope further and further and further until one day, guess what, you know, we made it and uh, he started banking tons of money, okay? Like just making a ridiculous amount of money and uh, you could see the little shift from, you know what, I'm hustling, I'm seeing how far I can go to, oh, well, I guess I'm here. You know, this was the, uh, you know, goal I kind of had in mind. I guess, you know, I don't need much more. I have more money than I could possibly spend. And uh, you would notice, okay, this shift from internal fulfillment to external stimulus. Because what happens is once you made it, you're like, okay, I'm here, I can go back to, you know, my comfort zone, and you lose that drive. You lose that source of joy, and where are you gonna find it? Distractions, okay? And you see him starting to, uh, you know, he went to buy this huge screen, you know, television screen. Uh, he got like this whole like Netflix, like PlayStation, this whole music system, and he started, uh, you know, spending his days doing that instead of working, because he's made it. 
uh, kind of numbing. It was a, it's a numbing form of happiness, if you will. He started drinking, uh, he started eating shitty food, and then in the end he switched to even like drugs. Okay, and you could just sense like that's the only way he would feel the happiness, which he lost from the internal fulfillment of pursuing something. Okay, um, another example is uh, you know funny enough my cinematographer, and uh, what he did is. You know, you start off and you're just hustling. You're like, okay, let's see how far I can go. I want to reach a certain point where, again, I'm successful. And he got this awesome job with this, uh, you know, hugely famous uh, rock band. And uh, he toured with them, filmed, you know, a music video and like filmed them on tour. And, uh, you know, it's, you tell yourself like, hey, I guess I've made it. You know, this is, this is the point where I can just go back to my comfort zone. And, uh, you know, he started assuming that everyone else would hire him just because of that starting say sending in half-assed resumes just like oh here you know I, I've, I'm now the successful guy I've made it and because you know it's like half-assed resume no one would really you know hire him and uh, things started going to shit you know then he's like oh well fuck you know I guess this is all, all there is and uh, him too started switching to external stimulus like you know smoking weed drinking shit food and you start spending your days like that and um, <laughs> and it gets even worse because even if you reach such a high peak uh, the, the unhappiness, it's like you don't think there's anything more you could do. It's like even in your life, and I think Seth and my cinematographer both thought this, it's like, well, this is as good as it gets. You know, like, what's next? You know, I'm there, what's next? And there's nothing next. And that's when you're fucked, okay? As soon as you ask yourself, what's next? You're done, because you've, you know, made it in a way, or you've deluded yourself into thinking uh, that you've made it. Uh, even say, you know, me, it's like, uh, I remember, you know, I, I started like building my brand, see how far I could go. And, uh, and this is how success also like kind of is a trap in and of itself. Cause you, you reach that point where you're like, I've made it. And, and it's tough to visualize more. Okay. I remember I launched a product uh, called Pimp and uh, right after launching that, which was, you know, the, the most or the second most successful product launch in the history of uh, the company. And uh, my brand was stronger than ever. Okay, this is like a year and a half ago. Strong brand, built my brand to as high as I could go. Launched the product, highest selling product, as high as I could go. Uh, touring the world. I, I was, you know, being very modest the shit. And I remember that little thought seeping in like, man, I guess this is it. You've made it, you know, you've made it. And uh, there was like a couple months after that where I was kind of like, oh, like in, the, in this weird zone before just snapping out and like, no, no, no more okay there's never a point where you've made it it's about the journey there is no fucking destination okay and uh on top of that too and here's some other little things that'll happen once you tell yourself you've made it is um you develop a certain ego around it where you don't want to break it now it's like oh i'm the successful guy and thinking that you've made it you don't want to take new risks you don't want to actually venture out uh because you'll you're afraid of say say you get rejected you know you, you put yourself out there and it doesn't go well suddenly it hurts that image that you have of the guy who's made it. So that image actually prevents you from expanding. On top of that too, people around you are cheering you on for being the guy who made it and you don't want to break that either and it kind of reinforces this whole belief that you're there. Okay, it's like everyone's like, you're the shit, you're the shit. And you're like, yeah, I guess I am the shit. And uh, it's just this very paralyzing, uh, you know, feeling. Okay, and uh, I can't reinforce this enough. Don't ever think you made it and force yourself to get back to why you were in this in the first place, okay? The internal fulfillment, the hustle, pursuing a certain goal. And uh, if you're in this state of mind here of like, I made it, it's like get back to the fucking roots. Overall, I'd say you really have to addict yourself to endless progress, okay? That's really what it's all about, okay? There's a saying, never accept yourself as a finished product. Okay, never accept yourself as a finished product, never accept whatever goal you're pursuing. You know, there should be no end. You know, you can always improve it, you can always push it further. In terms of developing yourself, it's the same thing. You know, is there ever a point where you're like, you know what, I'm good enough as a person right now? You know, of course not. You could always be better. There's always a next step, if you will. And uh, once you come to terms with that, Okay, and once you accept like there is no fucking finish line, you're actually gonna enjoy that process even more. Okay, it won't be viewed as this chore that you have to kind of do to get to where you wanna be. And uh, trust me, you will just feel a lot happier. Okay, the way I view it is just uh, pushing against what's possible. Okay, it's not like, oh, I wanna just reach this point. It's like more, more, more. Okay, I visualize endless 
possibilities, okay? Infinite possibilities. And this is the frame of mind that I recommend for you. Okay, don't fall into this trap of, again, thinking you made it. Okay, the moment you do that, that's the moment the fucking devil walks in the door. Uh, and instead, just focus on the next step, the next step, just for the sake of it. You know, you're just trying to get to the next step. Why not? Okay, and don't aim for the fucking finish line. On that note, until next time. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there's a few, you know, last points I just wanted to add on here at the end. Okay, and the first is really stressing uh, the difference between, you know, as we discussed in this video, uh, external stimulus and internal fulfillment. Okay, and how oftentimes, uh, before you commit to something, before you find your purpose, before you start working on yourself, your default is external stimulus. You know, this is the environment that we're in. It's like, you know, stimulate me, distract me, and that's where we seek joy. So you're going to have to go through that initial phase of uh, changing, okay, that criterion of joy away from external stimulus and to internal fulfillment. And this can be extremely difficult in the beginning. You know, it's like you, people have like very negative, you know, impression of uh, discomfort and hustle. They're like, oh, this must suck. And it does temporarily, but once you get used to it and you get in touch with that internal fulfillment that comes with it, um, it's a, you'll, you'll be a lot fucking happier just doing it than trying to avoid it. Okay, and then the trap obviously is to stay hooked on this and not reach that point of I've made it where then you go back to how you were before relying on external stimulus to feel happy. Okay, so something to keep in mind. And uh, the other, okay, is when you hear this, um, this is something everyone thinks. It's like, well, how do you reconcile, say, you know, like accepting that I'm enough versus, uh, you know, here what you're advocating is like endless progress. You know, it's like self-acceptance versus self-actualization. And uh, the way I kind of view it, and this is what I recommend to you, is you are enough right now. Okay, like at this moment in time, you are perfect as is, but why is that? Okay, because you're continuously developing and progressing as a person. Okay, so what does that mean? You're enough right now, but what makes you enough right fucking now is that one second from now, one minute from now, one day from now, one week from now, you will be better than you are now. Okay, something to think about. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, as always, until next time.